lunchtime video uh, news. Uh, Lawrence Vigaru, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce his surname, the, the sub goalkeeper's gone, it looks like he's going to go to Swindon. About 500 grand. I'm really intrigued why you started with that. Felt it was massive. <laughs> I felt like go in, go big, go home. That might be it. See you next time. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he was on loan there last season. He um, he got it, he got a fine. He, he he paid for it in two pences or something like that. Yeah, and they, they had a bit of falling out, but then they were all alright again. And yeah, it looks like he's going there. I mean, this is there's a bit of there's, there's quite a few keepers at a youth level now, and, and just not enough games for them. Um, Samal Shamal George, who was playing for the under 18s, he moves up to the 21s. They're going to want to play him. They really like him. Um, you know, Danny Ward still a bit unsure. He's looking maybe go to Huddersfield, but I'm not kind of sure there. So you know, there's. It's, it's kind of what you do with them. You need to make a decision on them at some point. And it looks like they have on here, Lawrence. There we go. Uh, and we're going to Mainz on the seventh of seventh uh, of August. Yeah, there is. Well, all, otherwise known as the well best friendly that weekend. There's nine pre-season friendlies now. Got them all in. Which is which feels like a lot. Like Those, that's that's but, almost that's that's you know it's a, it's a quarter of a season we've added on to the start of our season. But one of them's against Marine. Uh, there's another one that's against Crosby Stewarts. <laughs> I'm uh, not sure any of this is true. They're all they're all within driving distance of Liverpool <laughs> City Centre. That is true. They're not all, but the vast majority of them are within driving distance yeah, of Liverpool yeah. City Centre. And you still have to play for you know 90 minutes and run around and all that. I think I think a lot of lads are going to get to do that. There's yeah. going to be a lot of lads running around. Okay. Um, so we'll I suspect see. it'll be it'll be on the sixth when they all go and play Barcelona. One side will play that, and then another side will go to Mainz on the seventh. That's and, true. Yeah, they're, they're the day after each other is yeah. It's Sunday, August the seventh. So. Um, yeah, I reckon, I reckon Mines away is the Scouse one. Oh, it's undoubtedly the Scouse one. <laughs> uh, Mines away, I mean, I've, I've, I'm, I'm thinking I've actually got to be ahead that I quite like a weekend off there because we'll have just come back from America and we've had a separate conversation about it. But as soon as I saw it, this thing in my head went, Mines away then, eh? <laughs> Who knows? It's a tempter. It's a tempter, yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens with Mines away. Um, and then beyond that, what news have you got? What have I got? Um, James Pierce is, is, is was very uh, was very forthright on the Twitter last night. I enjoyed it. Hi to James. Hope he's hope he's watching this. Yeah, he was he was good on the transfer news, wasn't he? Basically, Basically saying the news is the news. Yeah, just because you don't like it doesn't make it make it not true. Yeah. So uh, he's he's rubbished the Kovacic link. Um, he said that there's nothing in that. Um, he, he's apparently the clubs are club are very confused by this idea that Danny Ings might go to Rangers uh, they really like him and they're looking forward to having him fit and playing for Liverpool and he's not going to Scotland not unreasonable um, a couple of lads he might be uh, go to Scotland um, Celtic Brendan Rodgers is apparently interested in Andre Wisdom and Joe Gomez uh, the first one seems a lot more likely to me than the second one you can see Wisdom going up there Gomez I think I think again they're going to want it. you know he's been injured and they're going to want to have a look at him and, and see what he's about yeah. and might end up playing um, you know it's one to evaluate as the season goes but I would imagine um, they'll, they'll, or at least want. a Premier League loan yeah. You know what I mean? If you're going to loan him, I'd rather you loan him to a Premier League club than than up up, up in Scotland. Yes. I mean, no, no offence to anybody, I'm sure it's lovely. <laughs> so yeah, um, so that's about it. And for for England, for sorry, for Liverpool players, are they going to start for England tonight? Really? Yes, he's making six changes. So uh, well, Henderson, Lallana, yeah. Sturridge, yeah. Klein. He's picking Klein, yeah. So yes. well done. So he's uh, so he's keeping his centre halves and his keeper, but he's swapping both full backs. Um, give 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 it a bit fresh. Uh, Eric Dyer's playing again. It looks like, but he's playing Henderson and Wilshire, and then his studies Lana and um, Jamie Vardy. No funds. Well, it could be a diamond then, as discussed. Could On be a diamond, end. but he's but he's um, yeah, but he's but he's resting a few. He's resting a few and, and, and giving a few. So it's it's this this is very much into Rob Gutman territory, isn't it? Now, once there's four Liverpool players that. That, you know, Rob's belief that you have to cheer on for England if there's that many Liverpool players playing. So this that's, is that's this firmly is, his belief. This is, this is this is firmly into Rob Gutman's territory. Um, but yeah, that's up to him. Yeah, I suspect he'll be going out to watch it then. He is. Yeah, he's already messaged me. Has he? Yeah, of course he has. Yeah, he's already messaged me. Um, so best of luck to those lads. Um, <laughs> I hope everybody comes out well and happy uh, with that arrangement. Um, yeah. All right. Then what else? Um, that's it for news. Um, I oh, just right. say I've got the new Liverpool kit here. Have you? Yeah. Uh, I haven't had a look at it yet. Well, I hadn't had a look at it since I got it. JD Sports invited us down to Saturday to the launch of their new store in St Helens. So I bounced down and they gave me a kit, which you is very talons? nice. Yeah, it's it's. I like St Helens. It's underrated. I think it's, it's got a good music scene. Uh, you've t told me this before, and, yeah. I, and I trust you. St Helens. Yeah, what's it's underrated. On the what's what's up like position? It. Do I you? Like it, yeah. I, I wore a t-shirt a bit like this at the weekend, and it's what they call a the granddad collar, isn't it? Is a that little right? bit. They, they call them a granddad collar, but I was all right with it when I was wearing it. I didn't like it. I didn't like the look of it, and then I put the garment on. And I like the look of it then. 
Um, so, you know, I, could, I, I, I can see how we could get into this. I think it could look quite nice as well, though, when it's undone and sort of dangling about a bit. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Okay. Like, like you've, you're on 85. <laughs> you don't do that, and then you go and put one in the top corner, imagine it. Yeah, it's quite, it's, yeah, it's quite, quite old-fashioned. Go, go scoring garments, I think, on that. Yeah. Is it is it a, is it a, is it a, um, is it a kit that's going to win the league? That's the thing. I think it looks like it's a kit that could win the league. I think it looks league winnery. I can see them bouncing around with the trophy with that. Yeah, it's got a sort of it's got a bit bit of a. a it's quite a, regal. Yeah, it's got an eighty an eighty four feel. I yeah. think possibly. I'd, I'd quite like a move back to white, you know. Okay. I quite quite like a, like I like yellow, and I'm I, I, I'm right, but but this is back to like it, if it should be a proper yellow away. It should be this just inverted yellow and red. Do you know what I mean? Right. If you're going to do that, I'm, I'm right behind that. But I, I quite like a move back to white. But no, I'm getting into it. Uh, I'm getting into it as I'm looking at it and holding it. It's very light as well. Wouldn't even know you were wearing it, really. <laughs> um, legit, John, as well. I'm just checking the tags in case Jay Z were pulling a fast one. <laughs> Transpires they're not made to. You know, Jay Z Sports wouldn't do that. Yeah. Um, no, come on. Let's get behind this kit. Let's get behind these lads. And that's, and that's the, uh, the Ian St. John thing at the bottom there. There's no noise like the Anfield noise. Ian St. John loves a quote. He does love a quote, Ian St. John. Um, what have you got show wise? Today. Uh, I'm so much on the wind down, I don't even know what we're putting out. Well, we put the free show out, so what I did this morning, and we saw the Anfield wrap is out. Um, I, did it. I did it wrong, John fixed it. It's <laughs> Thumbs up to everybody. <laughs> Most of, the, most of the heavy lifting. I just swooped it at the end, um, but that's fine. Um, so that's out, and... Um, Euro show. Euro show will be out uh, later this afternoon as well. Oh, and um, th- that'll be good because we're speaking to uh, Andy Thomas, who's who's been out there doing some interesting games early. Um, yeah. So he, he, he'll, he'll, have a, he'll have a good good perspective on what's been going on. I'm pretty sure he was he was there for... Um, hungry. Hungry, yeah. So, um, so yeah, but, be interested to see how, how he's gone, and then we're speaking to Ian McIntosh hopefully today as well, which would be something that's going out later in the week. Indeed, uh, all the st- all the shows, everything to come on tour player, uh, and through all of our many many different forms of social media as well. Uh, thank you very much to John. Uh, this is the last you'll see me this week. I've got to send an email on that John. See you in a minute. <laughs>